Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Alundra 2. Alright, we're still in the sunken ship so we can find the keys to the ruins. And maybe we've just found it? I had a feeling this ship was not a very long place. We... Donna, Donna. Your jaws is looking a little bit sick. Maybe we should go to a doctor. Oh no. Just, just go. Oh no! Why did you wait? Look at this guy! You have teeth! Oh no. It's trying to do the vor. I don't like it. As long as it swallows and doesn't chew. It wasn't giving me much of a chance, okay? Like, it had me right dead center. There's not a lot you can do about that. This look kind of funny for, like, you know, a bright orange. Oh, hello. No, no, no! Okay, I'm, I'm glad you can hold down to descend faster. I got an idea. What if I can make him try to swallow me? But they gets the bomb instead. He sped it out before it blew up. Oh, that's bullshit. Come on! What the fudge? How are you supposed to avoid damage when that happens? There's no evasive action. When you move so you are kidding me? When you move so slow. Are you kidding me? It charges at you off screen. How do you avoid that? I knew the tail was gonna hit me again. I just knew this game would do that. It missed? Oh my god, everything's going wrong in this one fight. You can't duck when you're in the water, either. Oh, this boss sucks. Everything about this is miserable. Please blow up in its mouth. There we go. That time I actually did damage. Yeah, you have to back away a little bit so you actually don't get hit by the momentum. Are you kidding me? I actually had to wait for the other blast to hit the wall before I can actually shoot another one. Oh no. Now it has a new attack. It tries to inhale you. Well, if it's gonna do that, it brings the bomb closer to it. So it was messy, but I won. That is just a very poorly thought out boss. When it could charge at you without you even seeing it. And you have no time to react.
Okay, good. It's dumb. It wanted some wood. How can I go get that treasure? Oh, there's actually two of these boxes. No, no piggy bank, apparently. Oh, sweet, an elemental orb. So I can make my EP meter bigger. Seagull Ruins Key. So that means I might have to go back to Puerto Medusa, because that's where the Seagull Ruins is. Okay, can I get the other chest? Uh, okay, 500 gold. Something does it. I, I gotta move now. Just playing that suspenseful music. Ha! Okay! Cool. Thanks. Heal me again, please. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to save. I just gotta hope that I will not die here. So, I guess the rule of thumb is go up as much as you can. I'm surprised these traps are still active. That's a little annoying. No debris falling in this room. Okay, that's not bad. Wait, so if it's breaking apart, does that mean I can't go back? I don't think there was any treasure here that was, like, really important. That whether I miss it, it's probably just healing items or gold. So I don't think I'm gonna lose any sleep at night knowing I didn't explore every room. Oh, that's what that was. Never mind. Oh my god, the hitboxes on the debris is just a little... Poorly balanced. Okay, I'm almost out of this ship. I just need to go left. Just a little more. Oh my god, I can't dodge this stuff to save my life! Look, there's a chest over there! Did I get that? Or did I already get that? Uh, I guess it's gone now. It's gone forever. That's it. Can't go back. <laughs> Flint! Did you find the Key of Ruins? It's also known as the Seagull Ruins Key. I knew you could do it! I'll get the ship prepared for sale. You go tell Father and Ruby. Okay, I guess I have to go. You're not really giving me a choice. You might be in this room. This seems like an important room. Yep! Oi, Flint! Did you find it? All right, let's head back to Puerto Medusa. Father, a group of strange-looking ships is coming up on us fast. It looks like we're surrounded. I think we're in big trouble. What? Those are Mephisto's boys. My Poseidon's mossy hair. What's going on here? I smell a double cross. They want the key for themselves. I bet. Uh, 
<clears throat> Testing, one, two, three. Your situation is hopeless. We got you surrounded. Surrender quietly and hand over the item you just found. What? What in the name of... What in the world? Is it some kind of way? It's coming this way! Get out of this water. This is my waters now. No boats in it. It's all mine. Was certainly invigorating. So what do you think of us pirates now? Pretty impressive, eh? <laughs> of course, now we're at the mercy of the waves. Don't worry, I'm a master sailor. Three weeks later. <laughs> uh, help. Uh, I don't think rafts are supposed to do that, just saying. This is how you get dizzy. Huh! Somehow he got us to the right spot! Incredible, Father! Your nautical abilities far exceeded my previous estimation. Why can't I press X? Hang on, something just messed up there. Just give me a moment. Alright, it's all sorted now. I had a pop-up that just disrupted the whole thing. Who would have imagined you can navigate us to Puerto Medusa? <laughs> you gotta have more faith than me, boy. Blech, I feel so icky. My hair is all fishy smelling and I haven't taken a bath in weeks. You're telling me we gotta let Flint off here. He's still got a job to do. After you find what you're looking for, I'll take you to the palace. You know, there's one other thing I could do. I don't know if I can do it right now. But if I can... I wouldn't mind going back to Melina's mansion. Go through that cave section. And then go to that blue statue. So I'm pretty sure there was a treasure there that I can just get now. First of all, I want to see if it's possible to get in there. You know, without going through, like, the long way. Which means going through that cave network. I'd like to avoid that if possible. So if I remember correctly, it's just up here. So this should work fine, I hope. Good job, kid! I know. I know I did good.
Okay, looks like I do have clearance. The Mansion Main Hall. So, if I remember correctly, I try to try to get back to the kitchen. Just need to remember where the kitchen is. It might have been up this way. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. Hope I'm not killing your vibe. Well, I was a little beat up, so you know what? I'm just gonna take a little extra health. I'm trying to remember how the hell I get back to the kitchen. How do I not know this? Is it on this side? This is the dining hall. I don't need to go there. Kitchen, there we go. Yep, yeah, remember that statue? Yoink! I figured why not just get it now? It was a small life crest, too. Guess for kicks and giggles, I'll just break the other statues. Yeah, just look how easily I can just murk a lot of these enemies now. Thanks to just being able to slash three times. I don't think there was another one of those statues in this cave, was there? No. I don't think there was. Don't mind me of interrupting your good time. Handling that jellyfish. Just watch out for the uh, venom. It can be pretty bad. Okay, so I think we're good. Let's see what else is on the go in town. Because it has been a while since we've returned. I wonder if they'll actually let me in the warehouse. So I haven't been allowed to go in there. Oh, warehouse not that way. It's actually closer to the direct direction I'm going now. Congratulations with the gold badge. You can pass freely. I plan on it. Keep guard on a warehouse. No fun. Let me tell ya. Oh, they will let me in. Who knew? Hey. I gotta clean up all the faces in this room. I guess they gave me the job because of my good looks. Yeah, I don't know how to clean them up. Let me just break them. There, yeah, I cleaned up this place of all vases. It's not the night out of the vases, I swear it. Not anymore. Because they don't exist. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Nothing is happening. It's, it's always been like this, I swear. Huh, <laughs> 500 gold. I can open a chest while a vase is still on it. What weird game mechanics right there. Okay. Well, at least I made a good bit of my money back. Wonder if I'll find some goods in the other door. Hey, how about you and me play a game? If you win, you can take whatever you find back there. 
it'll cost you 30 gold to play. Oh. Ugh. Well, at least I can make some money going in the other door. Sure, why not? I'll tell you the rules. Catch the vases as they fall. Then smash them before the next one comes. Do that 15 times in a row and you win. Okay, here goes. Alright, how will they fall? Okay, they give you enough time to catch it. Of course, that's in the early stage. I say within the last five, they're gonna start falling a lot faster. I was just playing with you till now. Now I'll mix in a few spike balls to keep on keep you on your toes. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, looks like the vase has the smaller shadow. So there is a tell. Don't keep throwing them at me. Alright, now let's get serious. What, two spike balls now? No, three spike balls! And the vase is right next to one of the spike balls. Jeez. I can keep this up. Ah! That's bullshit! That is pure bullshit! I had to be right there to catch the vase, so guess what? <laughs> the spike ball will get me because the hitbox is too wide. Now I gotta do it all again. There's one silver lining to all this. For as an annoying and slow game this is. If you're lucky, you'll make more than, you know, a game's fee back. Like, if you can survive to win more than 30 gold, it's already an improvement. I mean, the worst thing it can do is just put the shadows in the same spot. So it's like, okay, no, you can't win, it's impossible. Sorry. Now I have to be really careful as to, like, where I stand. Okay. I thought I was gonna get intercepted by one of them. You're pretty good, kid. Now you're entering the expert zone. Oh no. There's another zone? I thought that was the expert zone. Jeez. Two big spike balls. I like how the face shadow is just so dinky compared to the other two. Did I do it? Kid! You got some natural born talent. You're as good as I ever saw. Now try the ultimate! There's an ultimate zone! What the hell am I gonna do now? Oh, and the door got me stuck! Oh, son of a bitch! All right, we got to do it all again. Sorry. Starting over from scratch. <laughs> that is just mean. They had to put it right next to the door so you can get caught. So both times I failed, it was the bullshit.
Okay, this is it. Ultimate zone. I did it! Wow! You know what, kid? You're my hero. Now give me the goods. Yikes! You sure took me to school? The treasure is all yours. Time to get some good stuff right there. I just want to see if there was like a secret tre treasure over there. If there wasn't. Well, there's probably more than these two. 500 gold. Okay. I can live with that. 10 bone darts. Also good. And look at that! I almost missed that ladder. Because there's a third set of treasure right over here. It's pretty rare for folks to come up here. Thanks for being a footstool for me. God damn was that annoying. But at least I made off with a nice chunk of change. In fact, more than I would have gotten if had I nailed it on the first try. A few bone darts that I can use for Dead Isaacs later. If I'm allowed to go back to the mainland, because I haven't been back there in a long time. And then we gotta go and deal with... Get another puzzle piece. So I think we're doing alright for ourselves. I think this would be a good time as any to go and save the game. And then we'll stop the video here. Because that mini game really took a little bit out of me. Having to redo that like maybe a half dozen times. It was very frustrating. I keep saying no up there. Alright, so I guess I'll stop the video here, and in the next episode, we shall press onward to the Seagull Ruins. See everyone, thanks for watching.